Hey guys, it's Shannon with Apex Hero Pure Spirit, and I'm here to do a, I want to do a love reading, okay? I just want to do something sweet and gentle and see what the divine wants to bring out. And, um, we got A, B, and Z. <laughs> let, let me uh, shuffle this real quick. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, hey guys, welcome back. I've got the eye there coming out. Let me get focused real quick because I'm feeling a lot of different energies. Thank you, sweet divine. I just invite truth to come right here right now to reveal a thing I bind and block all negative forces I thank you for your wisdom so let's just see what uh, what the divine wants to show through number letters here where love is concerned give me, uh, let me give me about three or four cards please divine concerning love and romance Emotions being felt by those. <laughs> so we got the L coming out, which is again a vibration of a three. Uh, we'll just take, I mean, we'll make all the connections if, if the divine wants me to. And we got the Q. coming out here <laughs> we also got the P what else do you want to bring out here father and the S interesting Okay, so the 12 in the higher canna is the hangman. The Q is the star. The P is the tower. <laughs> and the S is the sun. We also have empress energies here. We also have strength here. We also have chariot energies. And we've got Jupiter here. We also have the Magician. That'll make a 10. Um, we also have the... Um, what else do we have here? Well, we've got Tower and... and uh, that is Tower Energies. With the, the Chariot. The Moon is with the Chariot. Along with Jupiter's already coming out here. Strength, like I said. Having to have Compassion. And then the world card showing up here within the 12 as well. So that's a lot of stuff coming up here. That's about completions of things. We have um, lick, <laughs> pick, piss, or PS. I'm picking up like writing something like um, snail mail post office box and stuff like that or p.s i love you or something like that is what's coming through my spirit since this is a love reading um lips somebody loves somebody's lips we got orange and red coming out here that's passion and uh attraction and playfulness and determination on something. There could have been anger in a situation for some of you. You know, piss, I'm pissed off <laughs> type of energy. About a situation, well, anger, really heavy coming out here for some of you all. It's also leadership energy. It's fire. Okay, let's, um, let's, let's take some words. I like doing words. Some people seeing things from different points of view and releasing things and gaining some discernment here and getting some healing, which is positive for some of you. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm doing all kinds of just different phonics of things. Pace, 
and I'm hearing paste picante sauce, and somebody might like that. <laughs> Why that's coming up, I don't know, but I know that the divine speaks through me, so, um, that's Mexican stuff. It's also when I'm picking up. Also, um, there's been a loss of something as well along the way obviously you know maybe some of y'all want to reconcile something we do have Jupiter energies here sail somebody sail like a like a boat a sailboat maybe somebody in your connection has a sailboat or a yacht or something like that or maybe you you know you sold something uh, you met somebody at a sale or something like that. Somebody was sick. Maybe you met at a hospital or something like that in your connection. You kiss. Because we got lip and kiss in a different phonics of looking at things. You kiss this person. You miss kissing their lips. Lips kiss. <laughs> I love it because it's love that we're talking about. <laughs> I just love the feeling of love, especially when you, when, you know, you've lack, there's been lack of it. Being killed, something could have died within a relationship, obviously. Pick, and somebody's picking at you, or maybe that's why there was some, you know, pissed off things that were said if, if you know or has been around you or if we're talking we are talking emperor energies and he, that's a protecting energy and so is Jupiter energy it's coming up here and strength is coming out here because pride's here as well so for anger and protection to come out and teaching and learning lessons and, you know, if somebody was sick, the L also goes back to medicine as well and moon energies and people being deceptive. What do you want to bring out here? I'm receptive and ready to speak and please forgive me. So I was already picking up on that. That's something happened in the past. Scorpio energy represents the past anyway. What else do you want to bring out here? Thank you. Ooh, two of them want to come out. What I think of you, I think romantic. And victory, and that's the chariot energies. And so somebody's thinking romantic about them lips. <laughs> want to kiss somebody and needs to forgiveness and um, they're feeling loss in a situation somebody's lips slip whatever that means There's victory here, though, and there's traveling here, here, and there's healing growth showing up, and you can trust me is also coming out here. Time for peace. I just did a reading, and peace came out as well. Um, let's take some more words. victory coming out again and blessings and earthly treasures that's beautiful sun energies overall which is also uh, Jupiter energies all overall as well that's luck and travel in itself with victory it's also please forgive me as reconciliation still Jupiter energy alchemizing things teaching learning and protections here a yes is here two different ways what else do you want to say I see you in my dreams 
love it. Children are involved and it's a challenge, but there's a give me another chance in a situation here. This one wants to come out and be optimistic. That's Jupiter energy. At the bottom of the deck, there's a feeling sorry. Well, please forgive me is here. And star energy was already come out. So something very much known. There's leadership involved in situations. We're already picking up on leadership with the red coming out because that'll go back to um, authority and stuff like that. Red represents that. Let's take a room for more words. Kip. And somebody wants to keep something or has kept something. What do you want to say about love? Got two coming out here. So we've got the F coming out here and we've got the B coming out here which is the 18th letter of our alphabet or the I'm sorry the B is the 18th letter of the runic alphabet okay and that's the moon energy so something's been very very emotional here Okay, but the moon is also found within the chariot energy as well. But there's also been something really, apparently really bad. Because we know that in the Hebrew it's hunting and chasing and laying down in ambush. And if somebody's just hunting and chasing you because they thought you were beautiful or something like that. And something happened though along the way and it wasn't that bad. But some people would do live in the real world if you watch my channel. <laughs> anyway... The B in our alphabet is um, the second letter, and it's the 18th here in the runes. And then we got the F, which is the first letter. And so even the number vibration in the runes um, is 19, which is still a 10, which is the sun and Jupiter all over again. That's amazing. And then so then we got 20 here. Uh, with two tens, that's judgment. That's people coming back around and uh, Scorpio energy, things that undercover agents and and uh, secret servicing you and things coming to the surface about the way somebody feels. That sexual situations also for some of you. If somebody's sorry about something and somebody cheated, and uh, the moon energies with you know with some of this energies can go back to high priestess energies in a roundabout way and that could be another person fire energy also can have uh, energies that can go through the process of the wands and the tarot of other parties and competition and stuff like this we're getting all that here and then this is actually a word coming out here beef <laughs> or FB is fib Somebody lied about something in their lips. They did love somebody. They knew they loved somebody. Um, so the B is also a K. And the... Um, because in our alphabet, the uh, B is a 2. And it's also a K, which is 11. Okay? So let's take a look and see what these mean. Because I don't remember. The F represents livestock. And we do get beef here. <laughs> but in the olden days, that meant you had a lot of treasure. Okay? And this is also about recovery and gain and trade. And your offspring, children, and stuff are involved with moon energies. Um, something that's been hidden that's coming to the light. It's also being aware of fraud and if somebody did something where money was concerned and fraud and stuff like that for some of you all. That's part of whatever. I don't know what your past is or whatever. But anyway, there's a B now coming up here. 
And B, I talked about the B today as far as like the B that makes funny. There's sweetness here and there's wisdom through all of this. And, you know, the moon also has a romantic energy. The positive of the moon is your family and it's just emotional. It's intuitive energy there. But it's also it's seeing you in my dreams. That is that is uh, your subconscious mind going off. That's moon energies in itself. So it's already... Um, Coming out again, that's that's beautiful. His, the moon is romantic. In the misty moonlight. <laughs> um, so we get the Burkana here. And this is about fertility. There's children, like we said. There's probably pregnancies for some of you all that were hidden. Secrets and stuff like that as well. In your process, um, this represents project. Well, it, there was projects around you, work situations. There's This represents growth and joy, beautiful pleasures. Like I said, the moon is something romantic. It's also very emotional uh, that, you know, when you're in love and it's romantic, that's beautiful, okay? There's positive and negative to everything, like I always say. Um, nutrition had a lot to do with some of this stuff as well. Well, beef, okay? Um, whatever that means for anybody. <laughs> Let's take a, um, animal totem word. Since this is a word reading of love. <laughs> I've never done a love reading like this before, but the divine is so precious and brings out everything that we need to know in any kind of form. If we will not put the spirit in a box, <laughs> it's beautiful. We get our messages. We got the fish coming out here, and somebody could look like fishing. Maybe somebody has livestock, like literally, maybe somebody's a farmer. Okay, that's uh, significant for somebody. Um, the fish represents feelings. That's lovely. When I think of you, I think romantic. I see you in my dreams. Give me another chance. I'm optimistic here. I've healed through the process. Your lips are, are what I think about in my dreams. There's victory. I want to travel to you. Please forgive me. I'm receptive now. I want to speak through these lips, okay? I want to kiss those lips. <laughs> That's so beautiful. What I said that pissed me off. I want to kiss you now. I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> so feelings with fish. Okay. Uh, transformation with fish. Because it's watery energy. We got that Scorpio energy. is transformation as well. Uh, deep awareness of things. Is what the fish represents. Of unconscious or the higher self. That's Jupiter. And that's also hangman energies. To flip yourself around and see, see things from different points of views. It's intuition with the fish. Water. All water is intuitive. Uh, it's also health. And we had um, nutrition come out on one of those runes as well. And we have rebirth. Well, that's things that have died and now coming back alive. If somebody went away for a while and now they're wanting to return. That's all Scorpio energy that we're in, the vibration of anyway, by the uh, 2020 <laughs> decade that we're in. Um, and then we got intelligence with fish coming out here. Beautiful. And we do have it on um, turquoise. And turquoise, I love turquoise, one of my favorite colors. It, it, turquoise represents loyalty, okay? It's your higher heart. It's your spiritual heart is what uh, turquoise represents. It also represents being feminine, and one of those runes represented being feminine. And that's important for us women to be, you know, to be feminine. And you know, somebody likes that. That's beautiful. Um, because we had, you know, mother stuff come out here. Um, we have energies with that turquoise, turquoise of being uh, refreshing. It's an energy color. It's a, it's a sophisticated color is what turquoise represents. It's a creative color. Beautiful water is very creative as well. Um, then we have the deer at the bottom. 
and that's on green and green is your heart chakra so we have the higher heart and this is a love reading i love it y'all we have the higher heart and the higher heart and the lower heart on green this is something that's alive that maybe at one time was sick Okay, in a relationship, peace and serenity. Okay, well, forgiveness and stuff like that is out here. Gentle, but not completely defensive. Okay, so gentle being feminine is beautiful. It's about being balanced with Jupiter energy. Okay, so that's positive because we have to be balanced. It's natural.